Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade, add or remove the hard drives in here and what are the best combination that you can have in. Many people keep asking me how many terabytes or how many gigs I can put on a website Aspire tells you that you can put 500 gig max or stuff like that, that's really untrue is absolutely we do it for our clients all the time and performance benchmark always uh, wins in this video i'm just going to open and show you the insights and how you can do the upgrades remember before doing any upgrades you want to back up your files uh, folders everything on external hard drive to do this i do not recommend you doing cloning cloning is never the best option you get some errors on the windows or a few stuff can go wrong on the cloning i always recommend to do fresh install of the windows i have showed how made a video how to create your windows boot drive and another video how to install the windows properly on this laptop i'll leave those links in the video description all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop back up your files you're going to flip over the laptop and we're going to see a whole bunch of screws in here the best screwdriver that we're going to be using is an iFixit screwdriver set which i highly recommend they are made out of the S2 class of steel. You're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just like me, go ahead and grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with the guitar pick on hand, you're going to go ahead and first remove all the screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now what do you want to do? You want to grab the opening tool and we want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right there. And we just want to stick about a few millimeters in and we just want to push it out like this you want to work ourselves all around to the front end you want to do it in here i'm sticking about one or two i don't need to stick the whole guitar pick in there you want to hear those click sounds that's what you want to hear those are the clicks are getting loose i usually do the front and the side i don't need to do the back but for this video i'm going to do the back side but once you lift up the front the back automatically pops out now we want to grab the bottom cover flip it over and there we have it and right away we can see the huge battery there's an m.2 nvme pci express right here and there's a another space for 2.5 inch ssd or mechanical low profile hard drive in here they do actually very nicely provide you with a caddy and with an adapter to install it just remember that you can install any uh, SSD in here, uh, 2.5 inch. I recommend you the best brands are say, uh, Samsung SSDs, but you can put uh, any other brand in here. And in here you can put your M.2. I recommend you guys to grab yourself a Samsung Pro version of NVMe drive. They're really durable, way faster than the whatever that you have in here. To remove this, M.2, first thing first, people always like, oh, you need to disconnect the battery. You do not need to disconnect the battery, absolutely, you don't need to. If you want to, you can pull this gaffer tape back, put your fingernails at the side of the jack on the bottom side and pull the jack towards yourself, just like that. That's how you disconnect it. To put it back down, put it evenly, make sure you put it evenly. That's why I don't tell people to disconnect it. Sometimes they don't put it in evenly and they make a short right there and push it, pinch it right in, into it. I'm going to leave it on. All right. To remove the NVMe drive in here, there's only one screw at the back that holds it in. So unscrew this and the NVMe comes out in 45 degree angle. To remove it, you want to grab it in 45 degree and you want to pull it back in the same direction. You don't want to lift it up, otherwise you're going to damage the jack. And there's your Western Digital really cheaply made one chip and dram chip right there is made out of the sandisk brand once you change this one with a samsung brand which are way better 
you get more components, more RAM chips, I mean, NAN chips right there. That's it, you get the new one in, make sure the notch on the SSD matches the notch right on the DIMM. You wanna bring it down in 45 degree or I would say about 15 degree. You wanna push it towards the jack, make sure it does that click. And then you wanna bring it down, make sure the screw holes matches and put the screw right on top. That's how you can uh, put the drive. Now, for this one, I'll recommend you guys grab a two terabyte mechanical drive because mechanical drives are really good for storage. That's, that's why they still, for the servers, they still use a mechanical drive. Make sure you get the blow profile up to two terabyte. You can put a two terabyte NVMe in here and two terabyte SSD or two terabyte mechanical drive. To put the mechanical drive in here, you need to remove the screw here, here, and here. These are the caddy screws. So we're gonna remove these screws. Now we're gonna lift up the caddy. First we're gonna remove the tape over the adapter. Lift up the caddy and bring it out. So there's your caddy. But unfortunately they did not give you the screws for the side. I'll leave the link for the uh, hard drive screws. You want to put your hard drives on the caddy, make sure the screw holes matches right there and the SATA connector has to be matching right there. So the small one SATA and power on the left right there. And you want to grab the screws and screw it right in here on two on each side. Once you have it, I don't have one right now on hand. You want to bring it close down to the adapter plug in the adapter and sit down the hard drive caddy right in place just like that and then you want to put the three screws for the caddy so it keeps the hard drive in place right now this hard drive is not in place because there's missing four screws for the hard drive which is not provided in this inside here but i'll leave the link that really cheap because i can lift it up easily you shouldn't be able to lift it up for this demo, I'm not going to put the hard drive in here so you guys get an idea how to do it. You can put the SSD drive, it goes the same way. All right? I'm going to put the gaffer tape back on and that's it. And once you finish with this one, if you have disconnected the battery, plug in the back the battery and grab the bottom cover, put it straight over. You want to squeeze the corners down kind of hard. You want to hear those click sounds on the back, on the sides. And once you hear those clicks, the last thing is to grab the bottom screws and place it all over the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.